Welcome to Bradford. The city is just down there, down that hill. And it's a place that, well, its reputation precedes it. I grew up and still live not far from Bradford at all. This was the closest place to me, the closest city to come and explore as a kid. It's a place where I used to bring girls on dates. We'd go to the cinema, go bowling. Maybe I'd show them my skills at the ice rink if they were lucky. It's a place with some of the best food I've ever eaten. And yet whenever I speak to anyone, they say, oh, Bradford, it's a dangerous place, isn't it? It's rough, it's scary, what's it like? And I've never made any videos about this place, which is strange because it really has everything that I'm interested in. So I've got a few videos coming at you from Bradford. I've got one about property. You can still buy houses here really, really cheap. And it was in that property video I was filming and I kept seeing something as I was walking around. Something that if you've watched my channel for a while, you know that I've got interest in. And it's something that no one else will show you. I am the only person that will show you this side of Bradford. And when the big reveal happens and you figure out what I'm talking about, you will say, yeah, the wandering turnip was the man for the job. So let's go explore a different side of Bradford today. This is gonna be a lot of fun. So at the turn of the 19th century, Bradford was just a small rural market town, like a lot of areas all over the country. All the industry that was here, the wool spinning, the cloth weaving, it'll have been done in small farms or cottages and all the industry was quite local. Supply and demand all existed within the small town. Now, 40 years later from that, there was around 40 huge mills in Bradford town and in the borough, the bigger area, roughly 70. And it was estimated that two thirds of Britain's cotton production came through Bradford. Now cut to 10 years later than that, you're going into the second half of the 19th century. This became the wool capital of the world. It is hard to imagine just how prosperous Bradford was. Now there is a lot of signs still that you can see that show just how wealthy Bradford was. And that's in the architecture, the stunning buildings that are all in the city. And the second thing that proves just how dominant this area was in terms of industry is this up here and what I'm gonna show you today. Mill chimneys. And connected to them, obviously, the mills. But yeah, it was when I was making this video recently about property, I was walking around Bradford and everywhere I looked were mill chimneys. Stunning, giant mill chimneys coming in all different shapes, sizes, some quite simple, some incredibly ornate. And I realized I've got to come to Bradford. I've got to come and make a video just about the mill chimneys. And that's what we're going to do today. Honestly, they are unbelievable. There's so many of them everywhere. Everywhere I look, they just appear. So it's going to be a bit of an unplanned video. I'm just going to see a chimney, follow it, see where I end up and hopefully, yeah, come across a lot of chimneys. I've got my drone as well. So we're going to be able to really get up into the sky and see just how beautiful they are from the air. I love it because within minutes of arriving in Bradford, I've found an absolutely amazing one. And with my drone, I can go up into the sky and just show you how beautiful they are still standing. And you see from above, the mills all around them are usually fading, broken, awaiting destruction, but the chimneys live on. And it's just a symbol of that industry that punched into the sky. And I'm so excited to see how many chimneys we come across today. That's chimney number one, look at it. It's absolutely amazing. This one's had its top blocked off as well. You can see sometimes I can fly down them a little bit. Hopefully we'll get a few of them today as well. In the edits as well, I'll try, because I'm doing this all spontaneously. I have no idea which chimneys we'll come across or how many we'll find. But hopefully I'll put up some information about the mills, what they produced. So I'll be able to do that in the post as well. But yeah, there, there we go. Chimney number one. So, so nice, a really good one. Now with chimney spotting or chimney hunting there's a few different ways about it but the best way is just to follow your eyes because they are so big and the second one it's just appeared to me again look at this one not as big but this is one of them ones that you can get up and touch and just feel a scale and there's the mill so the mill's there there we go
lovely bit of chimney that. And then I think I saw another one just round here as well. Yeah, there we go. Another one there. Check this. Bit of a smaller one, but still a chimney. Red brick one. Unfortunately, I don't think I can get up to that one. But I did see an absolute beast of a chimney in the distance, like a massive one. So let's head towards that and see what we come across. God, this is fun. Damn, another one over there as well, actually. Before we go to the beast, let's just go have a look at this one. And as I said before, this is just a sign of the dominance that this place once had. All these chimneys just saying, look how much industry we had. Look what grew this city. Now part of the grandeur has fallen. But when you see a place with this many chimneys, you know it was once successful. I think this might have the most chimneys in England. I don't know. I'll have to double check that. Oh wow, look at this. A benefit of Bradford being really hilly. I just found this little bit that's raised up and look what I can see. Chimney after chimney after chimney. And those two there, they look great. Look at them. And then over in the distance, over there I can see one big one. But these two here, I've got to get my drone up and have a look at these. This isn't the beast. This isn't the absolute beast that I saw, but these look good anyway. But where's that beast of a chimney gone? All right, well, we'll have a look at these then go find the beast. Oh yeah, before I do it, I just want to say, we made it to 100,000 subscribers, which is absolutely bonkers. I can't believe it. Thank you so much to everyone who tunes in week after week, watches my stuff, engages with my stuff, comments, has pointed me in directions of places to go, has invited me to the cities to have a look around. Oh, it's been insane. It's been so, so fun. It's been such a great year of making content. And I'm so thankful to all of you for watching. And it's funny as well, because the first ever video I did as the Wandering Turnip was looking at chimneys. So I think it's appropriate to celebrate the 100,000 subscribers were back looking at chimneys, doing what we do best. Right, I'm gonna get the drone up and look at these. I wonder if this is as fun for you to watch as it is fun for me to make, but oh my God, this is amazing. It's honestly rained every day for the past month, probably. I've been in a right bitter mood, not able to do anything, wanting to come out, wanting to come out and make videos and I can't. And then I come out to make this chimney video. It's absolutely bloody gorgeous. I find just so many chimneys and I don't know if you saw, but as I flew that up in between the, those two ones over there, a modern chimney in the distance just started spewing out something, probably steam, but in homage to the chimneys that once pushed out that smoke that kept these cities alive, that built this country. From that drone flight, it was absolutely amazing to see these two giant chimneys from the air, but I can't identify what the mills were that they were attached to. So if you know what these mills were called and what they produced, I'd love to know. Please do get in touch. And look at the top on that one. That is so fancy, wow. Right, so when I flew up then, I realized that the beast, the beast that we're hunting, is over there. However, I want to go over here to see that one that was in the trees a little bit because that just looked beautiful and the mill looked amazing. So let's do that. Let's head that way and then to the beast. God, I'm excited to see that beast. In the age of instant gratification, in the land where Tinder and TikTok scrolling are king, there's something so satisfying about just coming out and looking for some chimneys because, well, it gets you outside. None of it's immediate. You have to put in the groundwork. And when you find one, well, the view is just something else. Look at this one. Just keeps rising and rising and rising and rising and rising. Now this one is one I've got to get a bit closer to, but I think I've got to go round. I'm not at a good entrance here at all. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to make my way in there. Well, this one is so close, but so far away. They've done a really, really good job of keeping me out of getting to this chimney. Ah, oh, I really want to be able to get in. There's got to be a way. Come on. 
the wandering turnip get your thinking hat on well i don't know i've made it up onto a wall but i'm pretty high up i actually think if i get down there i'm not going to be able to get back up but there it is anyway an absolute lovely chimney and the wall i'm standing on will definitely have been part of the old mill at some point part of the old mill and you can just see here some of that ornate stonework look at that so yeah this will have been the mill site here all there will have been the mill now just completely overgrown so so overgrown we made it down look i might not make it out of here this might be where i get stuck but let's face it at least I'll have a chimney to keep me company. There are worse places to be. Oh my God, it's got a wonderful bottom as well. That is 100% worth coming to see. Look at this. Look at the bottom on that. That is magnificent. And that curved bit there, the curvature of that stone there. Just look at that. That's amazing. And just for example, just see how tall it is. Rising into the sky. That is ace. That is so cool. Let's have a little look round towards the mill. So this will have been the mill here. I'm guessing that part of the land there will have been it. There'll have been so many mills around here. And I proper feel like I'm just out in the countryside. You do realise that with Bradford, it's it's in the hills, it's in the Yorkshire hills. This is what it wants to look like, Bradford. <laughs> yeah, well. And this looks like an old mill pond. Look at this. Look at the colour of that water. That algae that's on there. And there we go. Wow. Beautiful. see through there as well that ornate little old window you see that that have been part of the mill as well a quick word from the sponsor of this video me i'm the sponsor it's me this time now i've started a brand new youtube channel with my oldest mate ben now he converts camper vans they are so so beautiful and me and him decided to team up with his amazing craftsmanship and my knowledge of how to get a YouTube channel running, we thought we'd come together and bring you this channel which is all gonna be about converting vans, strange vehicles, micro campers, stealth campers, loads of fun, a bit of restoration. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, hit the link in the bio, I'll put it all there. Go check out the new channel, the video will be live now. It's gonna be a lot of fun, so yeah, please show some love there. And look what I found, I found the beast. I found it. It did not take long to find at all. And yeah, I mean, this one's a proper ornate thing. Real, real glamorous. Now, I'm not too sure if I prefer these ones, which are like really, really fancy, to just your standard brick round chimney. I mean, it is really nice. I'll get the drone up and have a look round, but yeah, it's proper ornate. And that big mill there, I believe this is Lister Mill. It's nice. I'm not knocking it. It's not my kind of chimney, if I'm honest. It's a bit too much. I don't need that much grandeur in a chimney. I don't need that much grandeur. Not knocking it, obviously. It's a lovely chimney. I think, ultimately, I do just prefer the round ones. I prefer the sort of geometry of how they were built. But yeah, the beast, we found it. Did it let us down a bit? Eh, maybe a little bit. On though, on we go to more chimneys. They just keep coming out at me. They appear everywhere. This is great. So as I was editing this video, I saw this name, John F. Barker, carved into the very top of this chimney. Now I've got a few questions for John F. Barker. What was he doing at the top of the chimney? Also, how did he get up there? How did he get back down? And when was that? Was that back when the chimney was built or was that more recently? He somehow got up there and carved his name and mortalized himself at the top of this 249 feet tall chimney. Interesting guy, John. What were you up to? So I've just headed over to Shipley which is a town just next to Bradford. When I said at the start, 
there was all those mills in Bradford, but in the borough, there was 70. Well, that included this area here. And I was visiting a property to make a video the other day, and I came here, and I looked at that view, I'm just about to show you, and, I, and that's what made me go, I've got to come back and make a video about Bradford Chimneys. Just look at this. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. I can see about eight. It's absolutely amazing. I'm going to get the drone up and fly around. And this is what I'm talking about. You see this one here, this red brick one, simple red brick chimney. It's not trying to be fancy. It was built to do what a chimney needs to do now else and they're the ones that I love but that site there god that is beautiful so I'm gonna get the drone up fly down and then we're gonna head down there because I think one of them is salts mill which is a bit of a famous mill so we'll get down there as well but oh wow what a beautiful view god damn it chimneys are good also one other thing it's amazing how many people since I've started this channel have just sent me pictures of chimneys from all around the world my Instagram messages is just full of people going, hey, check out this chimney. I love it, keep that up. If you see a chimney, send me a picture of it on Instagram. Another thing that I noticed in the edit was just how beautiful these flowers were that were growing from the top of this chimney, just blowing in the wind. And it just reminds you that nature will return, will claw its way back to such strange, remote, high places. It was so, so beautiful to see. And on this chimney as well, you can just see these words at the bottom that says, John Smith's Jams of Shipley. Love it. In chimneys, brilliant. Right, let's get down there. I want to get up close and personal with a few of those big ones. They're over there. See if they've got any nice bottoms like we saw earlier. And here we go. I mean, that right there. Whew. I want that on my wall. Look at this view. Chimney, chimney, chimney. That is just so ace, isn't it? Three different styles of chimney, all in a row, right there, right by the canal. That's why this was so so prosperous having all those mills directly along the canal directly along the canal near the rivers in Bradford originally known as Broadford explaining that the waterways round here were always of importance and they utilized that and built all the grandeur and not just them there yeah you got all them there wonderful I look up there Oh look, chimney. I don't want to get all philosoph philosophical, philosophical, philosophical. I don't want to get all. I'm fucking bad with the English language, innit? Murials, bloody cutlery, cutlery. Oh, I don't want to get all philosophical about chimneys. I spent all my twenties looking for a job, trying hard. So many bad jobs, struggling, tried in the offices, tried in the chefing world, mainly spent time behind bars, doing everything I could to get a good job. I went to a lot of TV companies going, look, I've got these ideas, I want to make these, these, these documentaries about the high street, da 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 da. No one ever was interested. And then I go out and I make a video about a couple of chimneys and a year later, this is my full-time job. It's unbelievable. Thank you so much for the support. Thanks for enjoying it and meaning that I can just go out and call this work. Like, yeah, that's all right, isn't it, that? I'm right when I say the person to show you chimneys is the wandering turnip. I'm the man for the job. So yeah, what is this one? Is this Salt's Mill? Salt's Mill's, my mum messaged me recently. She was at Salt's Mill and she went, oh, there's a lovely chimney. Now the issue is there's a load of lovely chimneys around here. Which one is? the loveliest of chimneys. Oh no, so Salt's Mill's down there. And there it is. Look at that. Check it out as well. Imagine that, tennis at the foot of a mill. Chess at the foot of a mill. That one is a beast. It's huge. And like I saw up on the drone before, that modern horrible one. We don't, do, we don't do chimneys well anymore. That is a fact. That is so nice. 
Fucking hell, nearly falling over backwards, it's that big. And the nice mill all around it. Look at this, this is great. All been converted into flats, I assume. They've kept the chimney, not losing that heritage. I think this must have been Victoria Mill. And this here, yeah, that door at the bottom of the chimney, I've never wanted to get behind something more in my life. I want in. I want in on that chimney. God damn it. That would be a good door to get behind. Ace. Chimney number, pff, who knows how many we've seen today. Well, that is a beauty. <coughs> oh, Victoria Mills, yeah. So this sign, Victoria Mills. Good on you, prefer, preserve, prefer. Oh, for fuck's sake. Preserving heritage. Love it. Right, let's get down to Salt's Mill and finish the video there because, well, it's gone on a bit longer than I thought it would. It's been absolutely class though, just to get out chimney spotting. Like we did at the very start, the first video we did this and we're still doing it. And as I move forward with my videos, I feel like I just want to be more varied with my content, do a lot more things. The High Street series, that's kind of had its natural progression now. I don't think I can turn up anywhere else and be as shocked as I was when I went to Barrow or when I went to London. It's just the same everywhere. Until things change and then I can revisit and hopefully see how areas have developed from the crisis or not. I'll still explore place, but explore place with people. And thank you to all the people who got in touch and said I'll show you around my town. Looking forward to doing that. But yeah, it's a great day out looking at chimneys. Let's get to that final one and finish there. Yeah, look at that one. Wow, that is cool. I said earlier, I prefer the circular ones. And whilst that's true, if it's gonna be square, do it like this. That is mega, still simple. Got a bit of an ornate bottom, but yeah, that is really, really nice. Attached to salt mill. Ooh. There we go, the final chimney of the day and it's a fantastic one, it's so so nice and this mill still looks full of life which is amazing. That one we saw before had been converted into flats, that's great. Look, there's a bike shop there. There was a shop selling loots. Something going on in there. This is what I love to see instead. You know that one we saw at the start where we flew up and the mill was just kind of derelict? Or that one where we had to climb over the wall. Yeah, mill still full of life. Oh, wow. How cool is this? Cheers, there we go. What a day out looking at chimneys. And nice to finish it, look at this. Got my pint. And there's a chimney. So nice one for watching. Oh yeah, as well, do go check out the new YouTube channel me and my mate have set up. It's called Yeah, Love That. The link will be in the description below. So yeah, the video will be live, go have a look. If you're ever gonna listen to me waffle on, promoting something let this be the time and as you know I sometimes like to finish my vids with a poem and I found one that was pretty perfect and it's by a guy called C Richard Miles and this poem is actually called Black Dyke Mills which isn't from Bradford but I'm pretty sure it's over in Brig House just over the hill so nice and close let me just finish with this tall wagging admonishing fingers the smokeless mill chimneys still stand at rest Wearisome work ended like sentinels guarding the ground, surveying and sighing in chorus over once productive industrial land. Victorian values are now redundant as modern day practice steers the hand to work in production line factories while property developers are found surveying and sighing in chorus over once productive industrial land. So still, these monuments can attract our vision and continue to command 
overlooking the town, now Dame Fortune has refused and frowned. Tall, wagging, admonishing fingers, the smokeless mill chimneys still stand, surveying and sighing in chorus over once productive industrial land. <laughs>